The spirit of rejection is an oppressive spirit. It robs you of joy and peace. Oppression is defined as a mental pressure or distress. Therefore, if the spirit of rejection is an oppressive spirit, you can think of it as a tactic by the enemy to push or press you down into the moods or emotions that likes you from experiencing freedom and the presence of God's love in your life. The Bible says that God's love will never fail. Therefore, you must be able to discern what you feel from what is true. This comes from understanding the strategy the enemy uses in the spiritual realm. The spirit of rejection is a lie from the enemy. When you understand that the spirit of rejection lies about God's love and your worth, you can begin the process of being set free. The enemy uses the strong will of rejection in spiritual warfare, but the word of God can work in your life to set you free. The spirit of rejection is a generational spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection is often passed down in the family line through neglect, selfishness, physical, emotional, and sexual abuse, negative words and messages, broken marriages and families, inability to accept parental roles. Ephesians 6 says that we are not in the world with flesh and blood, but with principalities, with powers and rulers of the darkness in heavenly places. Once you understand the strategy of the enemy in the spiritual realm, you can understand how to activate the word of God. James 1 verse 22 to 25 says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks like at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Be set free from the stronghold of rejection and live victoriously. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. The devil has a way of causing rejection in life of believers, either in the family, in the business, in careers, or even in the church, and the spirit of rejection is behind all this operation. Believers must understand that in the world, rejection will come, because the devil, like a warring lion, moves about seeking whom to devour. But we must be courageous and stand on our knowledge of acceptance, knowing that we have overcome the spirit of rejection. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 tells us, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are God Almighty, and that you are the great I Am. We thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to be the Counselor, a standby advocate, a teacher, the deliverer. We thank you for your presence and for your deliverance anointing. It is the anointing that will break the yoke. Come and fill us with your spirit, your compassion, your love, your discernment, word of knowledge, wisdom, interpretation, and insight. We as your children choose to crucify the flesh so that nothing from ourselves will be transferred here. We clothe ourselves with your priestly garment to fulfill the calling you have upon our lives. Open our spiritual eyes and ears, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you have given us all the power over the enemy, and nothing shall in any way harm us. Luke 10 verse 19 tells us, Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall in any way harm you. We forbid tonight any interference with the work of the Holy Spirit. Father, we come against any communication lines according to Ephesians 6 verse 12 between the powers, world rulers, principalities, spiritual hosts, and demonic hosts in the air, earth, heavenlies, and under the earth. We close off all entrances and exit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask that all spiritual cameras and recorders be smashed in Jesus' name. We come against any witches, witch doctors, magicians, and wizards in the name of Jesus Christ. We cut off all communication with Satan himself and close the door in the name of Jesus. We forbid any spirit from the outside to enter this place for whatever reason. 
and we forbid any evil spirit to be sent to any other place other than as a result of what happens here. We now forbid any reinforcement of power from the side of Satan in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask for confusions in the camp of the enemy. Father, we ask you to set up your warring angels in this room and arrest any human spirit, dead human spirit, spirit guide, familiar spirit, and remove them to become the footstool of our King Jesus Christ. We bind all evil spirit in this place and forbid any violence, manifestation, and tormenting in the name of Jesus. We refuse any meditation circles, isolate any powers of demonic forces from each other in Jesus' name. We forbid and bind any hypnosis and self-hypnosis, meditation, psychic power in Jesus' name. We isolate the power from one another in the name of the Lord Jesus. We cleanse the four elements, water, air, fire, and earth, with the blood of the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to cover all mirrors with your blood and seal off the gateways in the name of Jesus. We come against any spells, any ritual, incantations, hexes, sacrifices, curses, or altars raised up against us in Jesus' name. Thank you that you blow out all candles which may have been laid in rituals against us in Jesus' name. Thank you that all curses are reversed into blessings in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we ask you to seal off this deliverance prayer with your precious blood, that you will hide us in this spirit and declare our place as holy ground. Lord, we ask you to send your minister and angels to come and minister to us in Jesus' name. According to Hebrews 1 verse 14, are not the angels or ministering spirits sent out in the service of those who are to inherit salvation? We surrender to you, Holy Spirit of God, because we know that it is not by might nor by power, but by your Spirit, says the Lord. We ask that you cover our loved ones and we place all circumstances under your control and protection. We now bind Satan's kingdom here on earth, just as it is bound in heaven. We ask you, Father, to prepare the heavenly courtroom and that all demons and familiar spirits come and take their places. We ask you, Father, to be the judge, Jesus the advocate, and the Holy Spirit the witness. Now, Lord, I commend every spirit of rejection. When people rejected me, my friends rejected me, or my parents, or my family rejected me, to come out of me now in Jesus' name. I commend this word of rejection and self-rejection to come all the way out of me and leave me now, never to return, in Jesus' name. I receive acceptance from you, Lord. You are my Father, and I know you love me. I commend out of me any demon that attacks my physical body. I commend the spirit that attacks my physical body to leave me now and never to return, in Jesus' name. I break the power of this illness, disorder, infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ, and I apply the blood of Jesus to it. I commend the spirit of these things to leave me now in Jesus' name. Infirmities of every sort come out in Jesus' name. I break the power of any demon that is causing problem in my life and all their kindred spirit and commend them to leave me now. I forgive everyone that offended me and ask you to please bless them and save them. I commend out of me every spirit that tortured me and commend that they dropped away from me now. Every demon that was assigned to my own forgiveness, I commend them to leave me now in Jesus' name and never to return. I commend every spirit that is not of the Spirit of God to leave me now in Jesus' name. Resentment, bitterness, hatred, leave me now in Jesus' name. I commend out of me every spirit of loneliness, all spirit of depression, despair, despondency, shame, defeat, hopelessness, death and suicide, heaviness, gloom, disgust, suicide, and death. Leave me now in Jesus' name. I command out of me in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit that has caused me to dry up the things of God, every spirit that has occupied me when I ought to be occupying the land. I command every spirit that tormented me to leave me now in Jesus' name, and I break their power over me in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of mental disorder, confusion, forgetfulness, mind-binding, mind-control, bipolar, double-mindedness, schizophrenia, mental instability, madness, fear of people, 
fear of germ, paranoia, hallucination of the mind, all evil spirit of the mind, dread, anxiety, phobias, compulsive, and persistent fear to come out of me, all the way out of me, and leave me now in Jesus' name. Father, I break the spirit of rejection. I break and completely destroy the spirit of rejection in Jesus' name. Father, I refuse to feel or be rejected because I know that even if the world rejects me, I have a God who loves me and has accepted me in the beloved in Jesus' name. Father, I see beyond every form of rejection in my life because I know they are working together for my good in Jesus' name. Father, let my life reject every spirit of rejection in Jesus' name. Father, bring back the real me that the enemy stole that is causing me rejection in Jesus' name. Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I come out of every satanic prison causing me rejections in Jesus' name. Father, every curse of rejection running in my family line that has overshadowed my blessings, I come in to break by fire tonight in Jesus' name. Father, every spirit of rejection in my genes, I cut you off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, every yoke of collective rejection afflicting my life and destiny, I come in to break tonight and die in Jesus' name. Father, every inherited rejection, generational rejection, foundational rejection, follow me about. I shake you off by the power of the resurrection in Jesus' name. Father, every rejection that is older than me, but operating and affecting me, release me and die in Jesus' name. Father, every foundation upon which my life has been built, causing me rejections, I receive deliverance tonight by fire in Jesus' name. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I revoke all evil decree and verdict of rejection made against me and my family in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every spirit of rejection and hatred programmed into my blood by the enemy, I command them to come out and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, though God of Elijah, arise and destroy every voice of rejection and hatred speaking louder than the voice of breakthrough in my life in Jesus' name. Father, every mark of rejection working against my life and destiny, let it be consumed by fire tonight in Jesus' name. Father, every virtue of rejection and hatred as a result of the hand that took care of me when I was a child, let it be consumed with unquenchable fire in Jesus' name. Father, every cure of rejection and hatred placed upon me by the enemy, by my parents, I release myself from it by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, every parent of rejection that has put me in a perpetual sorrow, break tonight in Jesus' name. Father, every evil effect of words of rejection that are still manifesting in my life, release me tonight by fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Father, by the blood, every word of rejection spoken against me when I was in my mother's womb, I wash them off tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I lose myself from every foundation of rejection in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every problem of rejection that entered my life through the rejection box, those who took care of me when I was a baby, I command you to scatter it in Jesus' name. Father, every rejection personality that has been living in my life, I cast you out by the word of God in Jesus' name. Father, every word of rejection issued against me by anyone, I cancel and replace them with the word of acceptance and love in Jesus' name. Father, I rebuke the wind of rejection and hatred blowing over my life and destiny in Jesus' name. Father, every good thing I have lost, both in your sight and that of men, as a result of the operation of the spirit of rejection, I recover all in multiple fold tonight in Jesus' name. Father, release the sufficient grace of acceptance into my life and destiny as you did to Jabez in the name of Jesus. Father, every favor I have lost as a result of rejection, I cover all in multiple folds in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for answering my prayer and making me accepted both in your sight and in the sight of men in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you that your word says you create us in your own image and likeness. We thank you that just as you presented your son and established him in the earth as your beloved son, in whom you loved and were all pleased, that through his blood you have caused us to be accepted in the beloved. For we are children of God and co-heirs with Christ. 
Thank you for making us your children and for lavishing us in your unfailing love. We are accepted and not rejected by God. If God accepts and is for us, who can be against us? Thank you for your everlasting love and loving kindness towards us. We, your people, bind the spirit of rejection and declare that we shall walk into and receive your acceptance and love in Jesus' name. We declare today that we are victorious over every attempt of the enemy to hinder and distract us from the work you have for us to do. Renew our minds, God, so that our minds will not be conformed to the things of this world. Give us the mind of Christ that we may know who we are, know who you have created us to be, and know how valuable we are in your sight. Your word says that we are your masterpiece and workmanship. Help us to be mindful of this truth as the enemy will attempt to destroy us with low self-esteem, rejection, shame, and condemnation. Lord, help us to be captivated by your presence and promises that will no longer be swayed or deceived by the lies of the enemy. Help us to have a deeper revelation of your unconditional love towards us. Thank you, God, that you hear us when we cry out to you. Thank you, God, for choosing us to be blameless and holy before you. We receive your perfect love that casts out all fears, even fears of rejection. We thank you, God, for never rejecting us, but instead making your face to shine upon us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.